for lunch. And there it is, the final seconds now. At about 18 seconds, they're going to flood the pad with water. Minus 30 seconds. And that's a sound suppression. Ignition is at three seconds. And then they let it go. Minus 15 seconds. And, and the final seconds nine, now. Eight. Seven. seven six. Seven. Five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. And liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket and the Dragon spacecraft. On the heels of the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11's return from the moon, we send more science and supplies up to the International Space Station. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Looking beautiful so far. Great shot from the Power and telemetry nominal. We're approaching max Q, maximum pressure on the rocket. Vehicle is supersonic. All right, I'll quickly throttle back. Vehicle is experiencing maximum aerodynamic pressure. I'm back engine chill. So they begin chilling the engine on the second stage to get it ready to go. Beautiful shot there, looking up the tail end of the rocket. And there's the cape getting smaller and smaller. main engine cutoff. And you'll see separation just a little bit right after the engine's cut off. And down they go. Nico. There it is. Stage separation confirmed. And there goes the booster, which is coming back to land here at the Cape. And back ignition. Stage one boost back startup. And there it is. Great shot of that booster coming off as it performs the boost back burn. Well, you can see it clear as day in the sun. That's the first of three burns as that booster gets ready to come back down. What a great shot. And there's the second stage. Proceeding into space. Stage one boost back shutdown. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. See the grid fins being deployed? That's to help steal, steer the, uh, the booster back down to Earth. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda.
So you can see the, the little exhaust there that uh, is steering that booster back down. And that from inside the second stage. Still got a shot of that booster coming down. Now it's vertical. That's a great shot. And it is falling fast. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. So SpaceX confirming that everything's looking good for both the booster that's falling back as well as the second stage, the spacecraft. They're uh, getting ready to enter orbit. It's hard to keep a track on that booster because it is falling fast. That's a great shot, though. All right. Well, we're going to toss it over to SpaceX and let them take it from here for the landing of the first stage as well as the rest of the mission. Go ahead. Thank you, Daryl. In order to make its way back to our landing zone, the first stage is going to execute a series of three burns. The first is a boost back burn, which you've seen earlier, which is meant to slow the rocket down and orient it for re-entry. Shortly after this first burn, as you saw, the grid fins deployed. Those are the fins located near the top of the first stage, and they're deployed to help guide the rocket during descent. Following the boost back burn, Falcon 9 executes an entry burn, which is coming up shortly. It's to slow itself down before hitting the dense part of the atmosphere. Now last is the landing burn, which happens just before touchdown, providing the booster a soft descent to land. And our four landing legs also deploy at this time. You just heard the call out for the stage one entry burn. That'll go for about 10 to 15 seconds. burn shutdown. At this point, both the boost back burn and the entry burn have been completed, so we're just waiting on that final landing burn coming up in about 10 to 15 seconds. Let's keep an eye on the screen to see if we can see those engines light. It should be coming up in about 10 seconds. FTS is saved. Stage one, entry transonic. <laughs> and you can hear the landing burn just started. There you heard the call out. Watch those landing legs deploy coming up shortly. Stage two is entered terminal guidance. There you can see those landing legs deploy. And touchdown of the Falcon 9 at our landing zone one in Cape Canaveral. You can hear me. Congratulations to everyone here at SpaceX for another successful landing. This secondary mission is an important part of our commitment to vehicle reusability. And this marks the 44th successful first stage recovery. That's an amazing shot. Now back to our primary mission, continuing with our second stage on its way to desired orbit. The MVAC-D, or Merlin uh, vacuum engine, that you should see on screen shortly, is preparing to power down as expected. And the second engine cutoff is coming up shortly. Let's listen in for that. At this point, there was a call-up for a good orbit. Up next is deployment of Dragon from that second stage. Now when Dragon separates from the second stage, we will get the first glimpse inside its trunk. 
Dragon carries two types of cargo, unpressurized cargo in that trunk section, and pressurized cargo inside the capsule itself. At this point, we're about a few seconds or so from Dragon separation, so let's listen in for the call out on the net. That should be very soon. Dragon separation confirmed. This is Dragon TC on countdown one. Dragon there it is. We have a confirmed successful deployment of the Dragon spacecraft. With Dragon deployed, the next major milestone will be deployment of the solar arrays as Dragon makes its way to the International Space Station. That's coming up in just uh, about two minutes. Now let's pass it off to Leah Cheshire for a coverage of the solar array deploy. Thanks, Virgil. And wow, that is so exciting to see not only a launch, but an awesome uh, return. And also, we are looking forward to the Solar Array deploys, the next part of Dragon's mission. So that occurs about 12 minutes after launch. Uh, and during the launch, the International Space Station was flying about 254 statute miles over Oman. Uh, near the Arabian Sea. So we are going to take just a moment and wait for that confirmation of the Solar Array deploy. This is Dragon CC on Countdown 1. Dragon's propulsion system has successfully primed, and all thrusters report ready for firing. This is Dragon CC on Countdown 1. Dragon is deploying its solar arrays. A great shot there of Dragon beginning its solar array deploy. Expected loss of signal in Bermuda. 